All right, so now that we've found an obstacle, we're gonna go ahead and start uh, adding this to our avoidance vector. And the first thing we're gonna do is set avoid to equal true. And this is gonna let us know that we're gonna need to publish a avoidance waypoint. And so that now that that's set, let's go ahead and start doing all of our calculations. So the next thing we're gonna need to do is calculate where uh, this range is uh, with respect to the drone. So if we think about how the laser scan works is the the range finder is slowly rotating around our drone and each return is um, an equal distance um, angle away from the previous one. And so if we know the number of samples that it does per revolution we can calculate uh, what angle this obstacle is at with respect to our drone. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do right here. And so we need to go ahead and start typing out float um, x is equal to cosine of current 2D scan dot uh, angle angle uh, underscore in uh, increment uh, times i. And basically, we're getting this um, 2D, this angle increment from the intrinsic values of the uh, of the scanner from this message here. And yep, that looks good. And we're gonna do the same thing for y, but we're gonna use sine instead. So sine, and then y. Boom. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and uh, use this equation right over here, uh, u, the potential. So we're going to go ahead and calculate this um, using this equation. So let's go ahead and type that in. So u float u is going to equal uh, negative 0.5 uh, times k times pow of um a couple different things. So in the first one we're gonna have one over uh current two D scan dot ranges of I and then we're also going to have um that subtract uh one over D zero. So put that there and we'll do minus one over d zero, boom. And then this, and then we're gonna do that to the power of two. Uh, yeah, boom. And then we'll assign this to the avoidance vector, and we'll say avoidance vector x is equal to uh, avoidance vector x uh, plus um, x times u oh plus capital X x times u so voice vector times x times u or plus x times u and basically this is just going to sum up all the magnitudes of the obstacles around the uh, sonar so that uh, our ultimate avoidance vector will be the uh, the sum of all the different um, potentials in our field. So we'll also do the same for y. So control C and control V. And y. All right, boom. All right, so now we're done with the first part of the avoidance algorithm. The next part is packaging up this avoidance vector and sending it to the drone. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is get this avoidance vector in the reference frame of the drone. And what I mean is that um, these rangefinder measurements are gonna be in reference to the direction that the drone is facing. So if the drone ever yaws away from where it was initially when we started at that local reference frame, then the uh, the avoidance waypoint is not going to be 
uh, in the correct reference frame and thus we will not go the right way. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what direction the drone is facing and then do a little uh, inverse rotation of the uh, of the vector. So let's go ahead and type float and then current and then call this current heading and we can access this by get using the function in my uh, GNC functions by doing get current underscore heading and then boom so yeah and then the next thing we want to do is also convert uh, from degrees to radians And I happen to know that degrees to radians is going to be m underscore pi divided by 180. Boom. So now that we got that going, we can um, rotate our vectors. And basically, we're going to just do uh, a little uh, matrix multiplication to rotate this vector. Uh, so let's go ahead and type this out. Avoidance vector x is going to be equal to uh, avoidance vector x uh, times cosine of current heading and then times deg to rad uh, minus uh, avoidance vector y times sine of current heading uh, times deg two rad. And this line below isn't the same, but we'll go ahead and uh, change everything one by one. So y and then a vector y but this one is going to be a sine of current heading times deg2 rad and then instead of a minus this will be a plus and this will be y times cosine of current heading uh, times deg2 rad all right boom all right so the last little bit of code that we're going to need is to publish the waypoint so the first thing is we're going to need to check if we are currently avoiding so if current avoid then um, what we're going to do is publish this waypoint so um, so if avoid then we'll go uh, we'll create our geometry message which is what the uh, drone is expecting so geometry um, underscore msgs um, and then points uh, and then we'll call this current uh, pose and uh, we're gonna make this uh, current pose is equal to get uh, underscore current um, location from the uh, GNC functions. And the next thing we'll do is publish it by using the set destination function in the GNC functions um, header. So set destination and then we'll do uh, avoidance vector x um, plus uh, current pose dot x and then we'll do uh, avoidance vector y plus uh, current pose dot y and then we'll just set an arbitrary height and we'll say that's two meters and then uh, for now we'll just make sure that the drone is a yaw so we'll set that at zero and um, the last little thing we need to do is set a little bit of logic to make sure that it doesn't just go back uh, really, really far. And so we're going to say that 
the max magnitude that we want this to back up is 3 meters. So what we're going to do is make an if the magnitude of the avoidance vector is greater than 3, then do this logic. So let's write that out. It'll be uh, squirt uh, qrt, and then inside we'll do pow, and then um, avoidance vector x, 2, and then plus pow of uh, avoidance vector y uh, to the power of 2, and then close uh, parentheses and close parentheses. So, and then if that's greater than 3, then let's go ahead and uh, normalize this vector. So it'll be uh, avoidance vector x equals 3 times um, the unit vector of what we're doing here. So it'll be uh, avoidance vector x divided by squirt and pow uh, avoidance vector x. I'm actually just going to copy it from above here, which is the same thing. So squirt uh, avoidance vector x, avoidance vector y, copy, and we'll put this right down here. But do that, and then do that, and one more, I believe. This goes with that, and one more. So basically what this is doing is it's taking the um, x vector and dividing it by the magnitude of our avoidance vector and then multiplying it by 3. So basically we're getting um, some proportion of 1 and then times 3 so that the magnitude of our new avoidance vector is going to be 3 and then uh, semicolon. So very similar for y again and we'll go ahead and change all of these two to y and this should work great. All right, uh, boom, we should be ready to build. So I just noticed one little typo and it's that I had caps lock on for this cosine. So go ahead and change that to lowercase and then we can go ahead and build. All right guys, now enjoy a little demonstration of how this is all supposed to work together. I hope this tutorial helped you guys with your own avoidance algorithms. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.